What's up everybody, the Strong Boys 19 here and this is the next review for the 2013 releases that I'm going to be doing. So for this review I'm going to be doing the review on the brand new Suffocation album entitled Pinnacle of Bedlam. This is their seventh studio album, just came out yesterday on February the 15th and the label for the album is Nuclear Blast Records. Now, Suffocation had been one of these bands that I really, really enjoyed a lot. They're one of my most favourite death metal acts ever when it comes to the genre. And, um, you know, they're just one of these bands that I couldn't stop listening to for the most part. Involving other death metal bands, you've got Death, the obvious one, Cannibal Corpse, and there was Cryptopsy, and um, there was others so suffocation is definitely one of these really recognizable bands that has been really influenced by the technical death metal experience so yeah I checked out the whole album from a playlist from YouTube user and this album is absolutely great from start to finish this is the follow-up to 2009's album Blood Oath and um, for the most part, you're always going to expect Suffocation's new albums to be pretty much like the same epicness of the death metal sound. And that's basically true. And uh, they've been um, experiencing some different types of um, styles. And their music kind of changed a little bit, but... Um, not completely as a whole for any of their albums. So, um, yeah, it has 10 tracks on here, and the producer for the album is um, Joe Sincotta. I believe that's how I pronounce it right. If not, then, oh well, I can't pronounce words right today at times. Well, just any day, basically. So, um, yeah, this is the band's first album since the album Pierce From Within to not feature Mike Smith on drums. And uh, I don't know why he left the band. Because um, Mike Smith, without a doubt, has been one of these death metal drummers that is just completely mind-blowing. He's one of my favorite metal drummers of all time, ever. And uh, I just really liked the... Um, the whole varieties of uh, blast beats and the skills that he had done on the drums whilst he was in suffocation. And uh, he's just basically, in my opinion, one of my favorite death metal drummers amongst other ones. So uh, they've got uh, Dave Colross on the drums this time. So this is an amazing album from start to finish. And... Um, the production on the album is just absolutely fantastic, and uh, surprisingly, uh, Mike Smith appeared in the uh, the last track of the album called "Beginning of Sorrow" for the album, and the whole album is just 38 minutes of just the good old kick-ass brutality of the technical death metal experience. So, as always, Suffocation's music has always been um, really strong and downright, heavy as hell, aggressive stuff from here on out since their career. And um, they're just one of these death metal bands that are just really unique for their own type of creativity and for their own sound. And like I said, the production is great. I really loved the sounds of the electric guitars. It sounded really kind of raw with the amazing, beautiful sound, the distortion from the guitar amplifiers, and the um, the drum sound is absolutely brilliant as well. You can see um, that these drum sounds on this album sounded really crystal clear, and I love the sounds of the bass drums that are just, like, triggered perfectly, not too low or too high, just... It's just... Um, just the, the right type of sound for them. The snare drum, just everything else. 
I loved the sound of the drums, like the guitars. The vocals from Frank Mullen are just absolutely strong and aggressive. And uh, his vocal style is still um, really great to this day, since he was being in the band for um, you know most of Suffocation's type of career, and um, he can still pull anything off when it comes to you know really low guttural growls and uh, some other styles of metal. So yeah, Frank's vocals really stand out perfectly. The bass guitar work from Derek Boyer sounded absolutely great, and he just did a really good job on it. And um, you know, Terence and Guy, the guitar players, are amazing as well. Really great, aggressive, fast-paced guitar riffs. And uh, there's been some really cool, impressive guitar solos on here. And um, Joe, the producer, also did the uh, the engineering on the album. And uh, Chris Zeus Harris also did the mastering and the mixing on the album. And uh, this is just really amazing that Suffocation can still make music this aggressive and perfect all around. So if you love death metal and if you love Suffocation, you can just obviously check out the whole album and um, you can just get easily be blown away by it. And um, this is just definitely one of the best death metal releases this year besides uh, Passages into Deformity by Defeated Sanity. So there's loads of really good songs on here for songs like Cycles of Suffering, um, Eminent Wrath, which is one of my most favorite songs on the album, uh, Pinnacle of Bedlam, and um, Rapture of Revocation, and um, Beginning of Sorrow, and just most of the tracks on here are just brutal all around. It's amazing from start to finish, and I highly recommend this album when it comes to, you know, really insane, brutal music. So, yeah, that basically sums it up for my review on Suffocation's new album, Pinnacle of Bedlam. And I'm going to give this album a 9 out of 10. It is worth buying for your um, metal CD collection, or just your whole collection as a whole. So, yeah, as always, keep it metal, guys. And thanks for watching.